YouTube, what is up? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's DTV, and I'm back with another banger. And today, we're going to be checking out Brad Williams' Fun Size Part 6. Listen, I think this is... I think this is the end of the special. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong. Well, you don't got to do that. I'll find out at the end when I'm <laughs> when I'm done filming and, and, and editing and all of that. You know what I'm saying? But after this, I'm going to be doing Brad Williams' Daddy Issues. And we're going to continue with the Brad Williams content. But before we go any further, I need you to do me a solid. If you could drop a like and a comment on this video for the algorithm, I would greatly appreciate it. Listen... We are on the road to 100,000 subscribers, and we almost there. But I need your help. So if you're watching my content, enjoying my content, but you're not part of the family yet, we got to go ahead and change that. So go ahead and smash that subscribe button. Turn post notifications on. Set them to all so that you don't miss a thing. But you're all ready for this one? Let's write it, baby. Fun size part six. Let's get it. Let's go. There's a reason why something called the Devil's Threesome exists, okay? What is that? All right, you guys got quiet. You don't know what the Devil's Threesome is. Okay, okay, it's okay. Not at all, bro, not at all. Regular threesome, two women, one man, gift from God. Devil's Threesome, two guys, one girl. <laughs> the audience, awesome, that's awesome. You guys are down, perfect. Oh, shit. That's the thing. I'm not judging you. I'm just saying, like, most women, they, they say that. They're like, oh, yeah, my man, he wanted to do that. He wanted to be in the devil's threesome. No, he did not. <laughs> he did not <laughs> right, right. No man wants that. No man is having sex with a gorgeous woman. Like, you know what would make this better? More dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, dead ass, bro. He, he's not lying. That's, that's sus, bro. Like, that's nasty. You know what I mean? That's super nasty. Back to it. Let's get it. We do it because we just want to make you happy, ladies. And I know this because I've been in a devil's threesome before, okay? <laughs> don't worry, I'll tell you the story. Yo, uh, Brad, yo, yo, Brad, don't let Brad fool you. Obi is a freak, bro. That's funny. That's funny. I was at a bar one night with my friend, just hanging out. We look over, we see a gorgeous woman sitting all by herself. And guys, back me up. You never see gorgeous women just by themselves. We're like, oh, my God, we have to go talk to her. One of us has got to get her. So we both go up. We start talking to this woman. After about 30 minutes, she goes, oh, my God, I am taking both of you home. And we both looked at her and went, why? my I want two men to turn me into the London Bridge. No! No. My friend is five foot ten. This is gonna be a leading tower of peace, bitch. Man. <laughs> she's like, I don't care. Let's go. So I looked at my oh, friend. Shit. Said, Listen, she's hot. We're gonna do this. We're gonna do this one time. And then we will never speak of it again. Not to each other. <laughs> not to anyone. <laughs> so we go back to her place to have the two and a half some. And <laughs> the two and a half some. I'll wait. <laughs> then, now, guys, you have to understand, there are rules. There are rules to a devil's threesome which you must follow. Rule number one, guys, is you look down, and that's the only place you ever look. Down <laughs> is it. You look at your stuff, her stuff. That's it. You never want to look up and be like, I'm having an orgasm making eye contact with my best friend. No, you don't want that. <laughs> Rule number two, pick which way you're going to rotate, okay? At some point, you have to switch positions. You have to rotate. Pick which way, clockwise, counterclockwise. What are you going to do? Me and my friend did not pick the direction we were going to rotate. And all of a sudden, we start switching positions going around the same way. Now, he's five foot ten. I'm four foot four. No! Certain things are lining up with certain other things. All right? I'm not paying attention. All of a sudden, I'm in the middle of an Indiana Jones movie running away from the boulder. What the shit? <laughs> now, the woman is on all fours. I run this way, hit her, bounce back. My buddy's not paying attention and just... No! <laughs> Bruh. Homie got a dingling on his face. Me. I'm dead. I'm dead, bro. But did I quit? No, I didn't quit. <laughs> I 
I don't care, ladies. I don't care. I have one rule. One rule in bed. I don't come till you do, okay? That is my rule. I don't care that I have to do it looking like I'm in a battle scene from the movie Braveheart. No, I don't care. <laughs> that's what some of my guy With the Sounds pretty gay to me. Listen, we are all at least a little gay, all right? We're all just a little gay. Some are more gay than others. And if you are, that's fine. But don't try to be there like, no, Brad, I'm not gay at all. Really? You've never once looked at a V-neck shirt and thought, I think that looks good. Pretty fucking gay. Okay? <laughs> pretty fucking gay. And I don't care. You can be the straightest man on the planet. You see a rock hard dick go inches from your face. There's a voice in the back of your head that goes, suck it. Whoa! Yo, pause, bro. Holy shit. Yo, this this whole this whole special from start to finish has been gold, like pure comedy. This dude is a legend in the making, bro. I've been laughing nonstop throughout all of these videos, man. And I know you have too. Brad, Brad is that dude. Let's keep going, though, man. Let's keep going with this shit. The fuck, son? I didn't do it, all right? I didn't actually do it. But as I was passing by, I thought to myself, I know what to do with that thing, all right? <laughs> We're learning, people. We're learning. You learn stuff from a comedian tonight. You can learn stuff from the internet. Video games, you can learn stuff, all right? Ladies, I want your man to be better for you. In order for him to be better, you have to understand how men learn, how men get better. We don't learn through nagging, no. You nag <laughs> in one ear, out the other. Doesn't Facts. work. Facts. Understand this, ladies, your man is an incentive-driven creature, reward-driven creature. We like knowing that if we do lose something, we get something in return. That's how we function. You think about things like college football. They can't pay the players. So what they do on a lot of teams, player does something right, goes to the sideline, coach puts a little sticker on that fucker's helmet. That tells the world he did something right. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> Ladies, you want to have some great sex? You should keep a stack of stickers on your nightstand. Right now. <laughs> a stack. And have them in different colors based on how good the guy does. Have a gold one, a silver one, a bronze one. A blue one that says participant. <laughs> Coach him up. Coach him up. Oh, All right, men shit. respond to those halftime speeches. There's a reason why coaches give them. They fire up guys. So, ladies, you want to have amazing sex, look at your man and be like, hey, baby, we're fucking tonight. But before we do, team meeting right now. Team meeting, okay? Cut it up right now. I need you to know something. You got to know something right here. You got to know this right here. This is what we play for right here. This is your pussy, baby. This is your pussy. And it's in your house. You have to understand something. Just because I say it's your pussy doesn't automatically always make it your pussy. No, because there are other men out there. Big men, strong men, handsome men. They oh, want to take this pussy from you. Oh, they want to take your pussy. Right now, ladies, start pacing. Are you going to let another man do that to you? Are you going to let another man come into your house and take what is rightfully yours, what you have rightfully earned? No, oh, you're not going to do that. You're the man I know. You're the man I love. You're going to stand up for this pussy. You are going to defend this pussy because when you're in this house, you must protect this pussy! Oh, Guys, if we hear that, we'll act like we're in the locker room before the game, like, this is what we do! This is what we do! And we will attack like never before. And when we hit that right spot, just, wow! Sticker, right the head. Right <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Brian Williams. Thank Holy you. shit. Hey, yo. I gotta, I gotta do some air horns, bro. I gotta do some air horns, man. <laughs> that was absolute fire, bro. All six parts start to finish on point. Y'all already know what's next, baby. We're gonna go straight to daddy issues. In the meantime, let me know what is next. From Brad, that is not Daddy Issues, and I get to it ASAP. But yo, I'm gonna end this video right here. If you made it to the very end, you're the real MVP, baby. No cap. If you enjoyed this video, y'all know what to do. Make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you for watching, gang. I appreciate y'all. Love y'all. Peace.